So as most of you already know, the email me forms website is not really working for everyone. I'm a little confused because it actually worked for a lot of students and my previous video, a lot of them used it, it worked fine, they made their form. But then I tried it and the same problem that some of these other students were having was happening to me. Like I just wasn't getting the confirmation email. So I'm going to show you another website for forms that works almost identically. This one actually might be a bit better and this one is uh, is one that actually a student found and was using instead of the email me form site and it's pretty good it's formsmarts.com that's forms well formsmarts.com so form with no s and then smarts so in just a second we're going to set up an account and create a form in here but first i'm going to show you how you would set one up in dreamweaver that would at least have a mail to link the difference between what i'm going to do here and what you can do with PHP coding, it's called PHP coding, is that what I set up in Dreamweaver using their form technology and not writing PHP, which you can also do in Dreamweaver, but it's very complicated and not something that we're gonna get to with the level that this course is at. Um, you click the button and it just kind of opens up a new window to send an email. So it's essentially the same as doing this. If I were to type email me, and then I were to highlight that, and then I were, gonna, and I were to go to mail to, right and then put my mailing address in there well my emailing address not my mailing address fanshaw I'm gonna need the at symbol msloan at fanshawonline.ca and i hit enter that's a mail to link okay and when i click on that let me just upload this to the server here uh when i click on that put okay should be on refresh it will start whatever default email program is set up in your computer to send an email to the email address behind that link. Okay, so what it's actually going to do is open up Outlook, which is the default email program on my computer, and then it'll start an Outlook email message. Where did it go? Why did it close Outlook already? Okay, go, work. So you click it. There's Outlook. Okay, untitled message. There's the message. So it prompts you, it says email this person. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how to set up a form to do the same thing, but really, the way you're doing it without PHP coding is exactly the same as sitting and setting up an email link. So that's not really what I'm trying to get you guys to do here. It still requires the user to physically send that email. I'm trying to get you to set up a space on your site, like a little area that uses forms, and I'll show you an example of one that I've done here. And the form, once you fill it out, will prompt the user to submit. Like it's, it's just like what I've done down here in this area. So I have this site and it's plugging a new subdivision in the area and I want to get people, you know, I want to get their information, but I don't want them to have to send me an email. So if I put this in here, um, whatever, I'm just going to make up an email address, last name, first name, telephone number, what's my interest, it's this, okay, and I hit submit. It then refreshes right on the same page, tells me, thanks for submitting. And this little thing is going to come up here that says, thank you for submitting. And I've never left the website. Okay. See, so that's very, very different. You don't have to send an email. You don't have to create an email. You don't have to make sure you have a default email program working. The way I have this set up, a lot of people don't have Outlook set up on their computer. So they could click this and then Windows is going to be like, hey, what email service do you want to use? It's very rarely would a form set up like that actually be successful for you. If you have a form where they can just literally type stuff in in boxes and hit submit, and that's all they have to do, and everything works right from the site, that uses PHP coding. That's going to be more successful for you in terms of generating some actual data and getting some, some information from somebody. So I'm going to show you both ways. We're going to start very quickly by, by doing it this way in Dreamweaver because a few people that couldn't get the email me form program to, working, to work are asking me, well, can I get credit for this? Yeah. I'll give you some credit for doing at least what I'm about to do, but you're not going to get any credit for an email me link, okay? That's not good enough. You'd actually have to create a form in Dreamweaver and set up that to email you, and you'd get partial credit. So you would go into Insert, you'd go to Form, and under Form, you would do uh, New Form. So that's the first thing you do, and it'll, it'll create this red area. Now, everything inside of this, then, will be part of that form, and if you make the action to email you, then that's what it will do. So then inside the form, we're going to put some boxes, right? <clears throat> Text field. Um, and 
we're going to call this name and the label is going to be first name. And then it makes it like that. Okay. And now that's, that's technically an input area an input form. Okay. Inside of the form staying in the red, you hit enter. Okay. Let's do another one. Um, form insert, uh, text area. Let's say it's going to be like a little longer. Let's say it's like a full address or, um, feedback, like where they're going to type like a paragraph or something. Give it an ID, give it a label so they can actually type and it has a scroll box and everything in there. So you can get more than just a line. You wouldn't want to give them that for their name or they can start putting all kinds of junk in there. Uh, we should definitely get their email address. Um, we can just make that a text field. Um, so email address. Okay, and that's how we're going to get in touch with them. And what we're doing here is tell us about why you love the site. So we get some, some quality feedback and then... If, if they actually take it seriously and give us some good information, we'll, we'll send them a free t-shirt. So I'm not going to go overboard with this form here. Those are the only fields I'm going to have. And then under the same menu, and I'm, I keep going into insert, by the way. If you have it on classic view, which most of you should by now, I've tried to get everybody to play it on classic view, you have all these mini menus here, okay? These visual um, sub menus, so you don't have to go digging around in these main menus. And there's a form, there's a menu just for forms, okay? You can do checkbot, like you could do something like this, just, just in case you're curious, like... You could do, you know, are you male? Are you female? Right? Okay. Just try and figure out some demographics of the fan base and they check one or the other. And then finally, you could put in a button, which is going to be uh, over here on this menu. And you can call it um, submit, right? And when you put a button in, it allows you to make an action for that button. And actually, here, let's go back. You can do this right in WYSIWYG now. We, do, we just need it on the button. I just took that out in WYSIWYG. I was just able to get rid of that. You can sit on the button and you can actually make an action that that button will take according to the form properties. So if you go over here on the document panel and get over to form, you actually will have an action. You can open it up as a new message, all that kind of stuff. So what people have done and they thought, this is it, I've done a form, mail to msloan uh, at fanshaw online.ca target blank so it opens up as a new window for sure method is post that's fine I'm gonna save everything I've done here I'm gonna upload it and you're gonna see how this works okay all right so let's hop back over to this page let's hit refresh and you can see already we've taken it quite a step further than the email link now they can actually go my name's Mike blah 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 enter blah 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 more about flock of eagles blah 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 here's my email address okay dot whatever i'm a male and when i hit submit it's going to actually generate based on my default email program an email and it'll actually have that information in the email for me already so it does do a bit of the work for me so this is this is demonstrating and that will come up eventually here this is demonstrating some of the power that forms have so you see there's everything I typed in right it talks about the field it says what I put in it and then it shows the stuff I put in the field but it's still in the end just an email link it's a form so it's a little more powerful but it's just an email link because if we go back here it's the same as me doing this, except to put the stuff in there for me. So it saves me a bit of work. But the problem here is, if they don't have a default email program, this not this isn't going to work because it's going to ask them for one and then they're just going to give up. Okay, It's a lot different than the example I showed you here where they put their stuff in, hit submit, and it was done. And I got an email sent to me, which I don't need to log in and show you right now. I'll show you at the end how that works. But I, I get an email sent to me that says, hey, you, you, got, a, you got some contacts and here's, here's what they sent you. That's much more powerful. It enables them to do less and integrates them more into the site. They don't leave the site. It's all there, that kind of stuff. That uses something called PHP coding, which you can also do in Dreamweaver. If you set the form up here and you go to action, you would link to a PHP file. You'd have an encryption. You, it gets into some complicated stuff that's way beyond simply linking this button to send an email, which is pretty much the same as linking this to send an email. It just happened to include some forms. Okay, so underneath this now, we're going to make a new form, except this time we're going to use a WYSIWYG program that will actually enable them to click submit, and instead of them having to send an email then, or have a default email program that'll load this up, okay, it just submits, and you can take them to a thank you page, and it's just, it's just done like that. It's very simple. That's a PHP input form, much more powerful. Now, the reason I don't teach PHP coding, number one, it's very complicated, number two, 
if you are going to set this up on your own after the class, you're going to set up your own server. Every every hosting company has a different way that you set up uh, like data inputs for PHP and for forms and stuff. Some of them will set them up for you and make it really easy. Either way, there, there wouldn't really be a right or wrong way to teach this. And the easiest way to do it is to use a WYSIWYG program that allows you to create a form online that'll do the same thing I'm talking about just for free without having to write all the code, okay? And it just emails you the stuff. So that's what we're gonna do here. Why is this so important? A couple students asked me that. So right before I teach you the, the nitty gritty here and what you're gonna to wanna to do to get full credit for forms on your final project, why do we wanna gather information from our site? Why would we want feedback from somebody? Why do we wanna get their email address? These are calls to action. They're not just on our site. Now we're actually asking them on our site to do something. So in a very simple way, when you look at a site, I mean, really, right here, this is a call to action, okay? But I'm not really asking them to do it. I don't really get, you know, firsthand results from just putting my phone number anywhere. Having them submit that form, I really know that all the money I spent to get people to that page, that somebody was there and it actually worked. So it, it gives you some good marketing data. On top of that, you get somebody's contact information and you can further use that to, to market to them. So a form is a very powerful thing, a data input form, and it's a lot more than just having something set up that sends you an email, because that gives them an out. If the submit button just submits it and it's done, it's much easier for the user. So that's what we're gonna create here. And we're gonna use a WYSIWYG program uh, called formsmarts.com. And I, I thank you to the student who sent this to me. Um, this is just like email me form, except email me form for some reason is not sending half the people the confirmation email and this one is. So you would go here, formsmarts.com, create a free new account. Okay, put your name in, uh, put your last name. I don't wanna use the same last name because I already set one of these up. Mike Sally, that's a weird name. Well, there was a John Sally on the Detroit Pistons, so it's not like it's not a last name. Uh, I'm gonna do, here, let's do my Fanshawe Online. I wanna actually do my Fanshawe Online email to make sure I actually get it, just like you guys are trying to do. So, and if, you know, you can use your Gmail, Hotmail, whatever you wanna do. Uh, set up a password, yada, yada, yada. What's my activity? I would be a personal user. I'm in Canada. I agree to everything. Sign me up. Okay, cool. To activate your account, we've just sent you an email. So I should have the email pretty fast. Let's go in here and refresh. Okay, refresh. Now, it might take a minute or two. I got it immediately through my AOL email. Um, please don't tell me I'm going to have the same exact problem here. Did I definitely put in the right email? msloan at fanshawonline.ca. Okay, I wanna make sure I get that email before the end of the video, but in lieu of waiting here to get it, I am gonna go and start building a form in the account that I already created, okay? So I've created an account, um, and that account, if I sign in, let's go, let's go my forms and sign in with my other account. Um, okay, I set up another account on my personal email. Probably should have tried my fan show online first. This better work. I'm sick of recording forum videos. Sign in. Okay. Once you sign in, it's going to automatically prompt you to create a form here. There's one that I tried really quick. So I have no forms. It's going to prompt me to create a form. So create a form. Uh, I'm going to call this um, feedback form. I want to try and get some feedback from somebody. And then, then I'll send them a free marketing package, which is really just me trying to get more people involved and buying whatever it is on my site. That's the whole idea here, right? It's a call to action. Form title, call it uh, contact page contact page form because I'm going to put it on the contact page. Um, form filling, um, they don't need special instructions. Most people can figure this out. Redirect URL, this is really important. If somebody asked me about this in class because I didn't include it in the first lecture. The best way to set this up is after they're done with the form and they've submitted it, have them bounce back to your website. So at this point, know that you know my website is here comp5046.com, right? And I have mine in my server folder, just like all you guys. I'm using my demo site. And within that folder, I'm gonna create a page called Thank You, because that's kind of an obvious page. And then what you do, once you go and create the page, when, when you go to create the page, you know, and I'll just make one really quick, right? This is my contact page. I'm gonna save that. It's already saved, okay? I'm gonna clear the stuff out of the contact page, okay? And just in the page, right, I'm gonna take this out. And I'm going to put thanks in there or something, whatever. Um, thanks for submitting your info. You could make that your thank you page. And then you could even put a little graphic in the middle 
I'm just gonna type something in there now because I don't have I'm not gonna start making graphics in this one and then you know you could center it or something right and you could make it bigger like I'm gonna actually make this a little bigger let's go heading one right so so it's just a nice little page to kind of thank them for for helping you out and that'll be the, the that'll be the page and that the idea is you send them to that page they still have your main menu they're still within your site so there's a couple little things you want to do as part of this one is making a thank you page so just take any page and then you can clear the info out put in your new info call it you know type out thank you some kind of thank you note save it as thank you dot h I'm going to save it right in pages there. All the links should be totally fine. I didn't mess with them. Okay, I can close that up. I might as well upload it now just because I'm doing this. Okay, let's upload the thank you page. Cool. Um, and let's go back and keep working on our form. So in here, form filing, uh, we are going, oh, form filling, right. We don't need to give them special instructions to fill the form out. But there's the thank you page I just made. I drew out the URL. If you don't know how to do that, you, we're talking like file paths in week two of the course. If You, you better watch that uh, uploading video at com5046.com because that's worth 15 marks. So I'm going to create the form now. Once I create the form, it pops up up here in the top. This is just like the email me form video that I'd already made. And then you can go here. You would edit it. Okay. You can change the background color and stuff. So while I'm in here, this is actually a little more powerful than the other program I used. This wasn't as easy to do in the other program. I'm going to go here and figure out what this background color is. Um, and then I'm going to use that same color code. Okay. So where would that be? In the div main probably. Yeah, there's div main background. Background of div main is white. Which means what? This is maybe an image. Okay, well, whatever. Just, just uh, if you can't change the background, um, you can double click. Why is it not letting me double click? Get me in there. You can double click and just pick the color, right? Anything you can choose a color on here, there. Just double click that, and then go in here. You're gonna make that. You're gonna keep that black, but what you all you need is this color code. So you can make the form background the same. So just grab that color code, right? And then just hit cancel. Don't make the changes. So it's, I I just use that to pick up the code. Okay, this I've taught in many other videos how to use the eyedropper, and then because I cut and paste that code, I would go back in here. Uh, to the email me form site and I'm gonna do background color like that okay text color black is fine whatever okay so this is kinda neat that you can actually edit this um, form subscribers uh, we're not gonna start adding subscribers here we don't need to get into that yet uh, we're just making a simple form so save changes I've got the colors set up and then once you've saved yep get out of there add fields okay so I'm gonna do um, Add a field name. Okay, good. Uh, call it uh, first name. Okay. Description is what's going to come up in there to tell them what they're putting in there. So we're, we'll do something just like the other other one we did. Letters only, fine. Well, yeah, you shouldn't have numbers in your letters. Ted, text box, fine. Optional, no. We should require that. We want to see their name. Okay, so let's do. Uh, we don't need their last name really. Let's get their email. Okay, so email address. Uh, type it already knew to make it an email, so it'll probably put an at, an at sign in there for you, which is kind of cool. And then make it uh, text box, and then optional no. Okay, let's do it one more. So let's do um, uh, feedback, right? So give us feedback, and this is going to be the one where they actually talk about the site and what they liked. Uh, letters only, letters plus numbers, whatever you never know, right? Text box, find text area. Okay, that's what we, that's the one that's going to be a little bigger. Okay, and you can pick all the same type of stuff in there if you notice. There's radio buttons, country. You can actually do date, URL. You can you can set it up so it's it's set to specific fields and uh, settings so that they can only put certain stuff in. So it's very user friendly and easy to use. Um, once you're done with that, uh, you're up. You don't have to keep making forms. Just go back up here to the top, okay? And you've got your form in there. So now I would go back to home, okay? No, wait, my forms there. Get into my forms. You see the form here, and they've given you the embed URL already, okay? So as soon as you cre create fields in it, and then go back to my forms, you're gonna have an embed code. So you literally, this is as easy as as putting in the form. Putting the form is as easy as putting in the YouTube video. 
you would go here, Control X, uh, copy, um, and then I would go back into Dreamweaver, and sitting in that spot, you go to Code View. If you just paste it in there, it's just going to be a bunch of crap. Well, here's all the spaces I put in there. I don't need that in there. Uh, you paste it right in there. Go to Design View. You've got a form. You can't really see it yet because you're not in Live View. If you go to Live View, there you go. See, now it looks just like the other one, okay? And I could I could probably change that back in the form thing. Let's, let's fix that really quick. I could change it in my code. Um, here. Let's go into Code. Uh, the word continue anything anywhere in there no no so you will have to change the way the form set up in your WYSIWYG format in here so I would go edit what am I gonna call the button uh, contact da, 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 form layout question question whatever I haven't used this much yet this is pretty new for me too so I'm just trying to find the place where I can change I'd rather have that button say submit okay here fields um, Feedback, fine. Settings. Plain text. Website. Wow, I can't find this in here. Um, edit. Cancel. View. Continue. See, I don't want it to say continue. And it's going to ask you to fill the stuff in. I'd like it to say something else. Um, fields. Settings. This is live. Fine. Well, okay. I'm gonna. I, I, there's got to be a way to change it. But you know, you know what? For any of you that have continue as your button, I'm not gonna have an issue with that. I will try and figure it out and post another video. But I mean, with the, with the stuff I have to do this week, I'm probably not gonna be able to do that. So, I, I there's a very easy way to fix that button. There's got to be. Um, what the. But I'm just going to let it go from here because from here, I don't want the video to be too long. Um, so here I am in FOL. took a little while to get in there because FOL has a stronger filter. But you can see the email account uh, confirmation is there. So in order to get this to work, I would have gone in here, confirm my account. So this should work fine with FOL or your Gmail or Hotmail. You go in there, you make the form, you choose your background, all that good stuff. You go in there in a code view, you paste it in, and you got a pretty decent looking form here. Okay, so now let's save the page yet one more time and upload it one more time. Okay, now we're actually going to see this happen. Okay, so with the way this is set up, I am going into uh, the contact page again. I'm going to refresh. Okay, now check this out. So you're going to see the difference now between something that hits submit and just sets up an email to be sent to something like this. Uh, email. Um, whatever it doesn't matter I use one of my other emails feedback okay type a bunch of junk hit continue and 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 again I'm sure there's a way to get that to work if you guys are going to be using this um, in the future like it but there's nothing wrong with the continue button I just wish there, there was an easy way to find to change that but you could probably just email them I'm sure it's in there somewhere so you hit continue um, letters number spaces and whatever only so what's the pro oh it's probably because I did hard enters you probably shouldn't be doing hard enters. Okay, cool. So good, good, good. Information has been processed. Confirm it. Form was six. Wow, that's even. It didn't even send you to a to a redirect page. That's awesome. So if this is the first time I've actually put one in. I knew it was going to work well, but that's great. It doesn't even send you to a redirect page. It actually just stays right on the same page, which is even better. Okay, if you wanted it to redirect. Um, yeah, it just says thank you. That's that's great. That's very user friendly. If you wanted it to redirect, did I not do that in the form uh, thing? It should have redirected. Uh, where the heck is it? So okay, hang on. So I'm in my AOL email, and that's the account I used to set up. See, see it pop in right there. So that's what happens. So without them having to create an email, send an email, you then get the answer. And here's all the junk I would have put in. Hey, here's the guy's name. Here's his email address. Here's the stuff he typed. You just got some feedback on your site. And it went to that email address because that's the email um, that I used. Where the heck is this? I got a lot of windows open. When I set up this account that I used in lieu of waiting for the email to come in here. But it did eventually come in. So you can see this all works fine. You get the email. And um, when I went into that form, 
Uh, let's go to my forms. Okay, let's go edit return URL. Yeah, I put it in there. Hmm. It's interesting the way it works. Actually, I actually like it a lot better that it has a confirmation message right there and it doesn't even ever leave the same page in your site. That's awesome. So very user-friendly form tool here, uh, courtesy of one of our students that had found it. So if email me form is not working for you guys, this is the one you want to use. And I, I don't, that with, the, with the, the way this one works, you won't have any excuses to not have a form in your site. When I see, see if we refresh, I'm expecting something like that, that when I hit the button, it reloads that in your page. And if you use email me form, it'll redirect to another page per my other video. But I need a form like that that actually creates and sends the information without having to create an email. This isn't going to be quite good enough unless I've given you special permission to use something like that. Okay, so there you go right there. Uh, good, good example of it. Hopefully I kept this under half an hour like the other one. It takes a minute to go through all of this, but uh, that's the site I would use, formsmarts.com. Okay, and I used my FOL email and had no problem getting the confirmation message. All right. So go ahead and get that done, guys. It's probably one of the last things you still need to do to get credit on your final project for certain specific things. Again, if you still haven't uploaded to the server yet, holy cow, you really want to do that. It's worth 15 marks, and it's step-by-step -step gone through right here at comp5046.com. This shows you exactly what to do. So I will see you for your final grading appointment uh, whenever that may be.